In the following set of tutorials, we will cover what it takes to create a map from beginning to end using Chrome Editor and Call of Juarez Bundled Blood. First thing you want to do is you need to download the latest patch and you need to download the modding tools. And you can find both of these at cojmodding.com. So at cojmodding.com, here you can click on the tools section and you are able to download the user content creation package and the latest patch. Also here on the bottom you are able to download uh, 3D Max exporters and Maya exporters. So first you want to download and install the patch. So once you do that, once you patch up the game with the latest patch, in our case it's 1.1, you want to download and install the content creation tools. Also, if you have 3ds Max or you have Maya, go ahead and download both of these exporters because we will later in, in later tutorials we will cover what it takes to create a custom object and import it into the game. So if you use any of these 3D packages, go ahead and download. In my case, I use Maya, so I'm going to go ahead and download the Maya exporting tools. Also, on cojmod.com website. This is where you will eventually publish and upload all of your maps that you create in Call of Juarez Chrome Editor. So get acquainted with this website and join in the forums. If you click on the forum section, this is where you go if you have any technical problems with the editor or if you need help. And there's a, quite a few level designers here who will assist you, who have worked on the game. So once you have your patch installed and once you have your Chrome Editor creation tools installed, navigate to your installation folder, go to Cola Juarez Bond and Blood folder, go inside and here you will see Editor x86. This is the editor so if you double click on it the editor will launch and what I do instead of navigating to the folder inside I just right click and I send to desktop create a shortcut. So this way I have the editor shortcut always on my desktop. Next I want to cover is the custom map file folder structure and once you start creating your maps all your files are stored inside the documents folder. Now Vista and XP are a bit different but essentially they're both stored in your documents. If I go into my documents and I navigate into data I have maps extra and maps net and this is where both of your map files will be stored. Single player goes to maps extra and a multiplayer map is in maps net. So once you start mapping depending on the type of map you select and begin to create all the map files will be stored inside here. So if I navigate to maps extra I have a couple of map folders that I've been testing out. Here I have test maps and this is where all your files and all the folder structure will go and essentially once you publish your map you will have a .pack file. But when you're working on your map, all these files will be stored in your documents folder. Now I want to talk about downloading single player and multiplayer maps. So here are the file structures of both single player and multiplayer maps. They'll be inside your installation folder, Call of Wars Bound and Blood, COJ slash data. So if I head over to my installation folder, if I click on COJ, Two, and here I have data and inside that I have a maps extra and maps net. Maps extra is a single player mode and maps net is a multiplayer mode. So let's download the map and I'll show you how to put those inside. So back on cojmodin.com let's just download a multiplayer map. Once this comes up it's going to be a .pack file so go ahead and save and st since this was a multiplayer map, we went ahead and we saved it inside the installation folder under maps.net. So inside here, we have our uh, multiplayer custom map installed. And once you launch the game, you're able to choose this from one, the, uh, from one of the menus. And if you have, again, if you have a single player map, you want to put it inside maps extra. And it'll be right in here. So this is where you install and this is how you play custom maps. So go ahead and launch Chrome Editor. 
and you will have this screen pop up. You have an option of creating new level or loading an existing level. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and create new level. Uh, you have an option between single player or multiplayer. In the following set of tutorials we will only focus on single player. Multiplayer maps are per pretty much very straightforward so we're going to go more into depth with the single player. So I will choose single player. Click next. In this screen map name and description these two parts are very important your map name and your description is what's going to show up on cojmodern.com when you submit and publish your map so make sure you choose appropriate name and description so my name for the map I'm going to choose lost collateral so after you created your description click next and here you're presented with a new map wizard you have a choice in choosing between Arizona Territory, Mexico or California and on the bottom you have same environments but they're all empty. Uh, if you choose any of the top ones this these three areas are already predefined the terrain is already created for you. On the bottom is you get a flat land and you have to build everything from scratch. We're going to choose the bottom and I'm going to choose California empty. Click next so here is the map size. Uh, everything is set in meters and your map has to be square. So I'm going to double my my defaults and I'm going to choose this up to 500. And I'm going to click next and here you choose your daytime. It's a tw 24 hour format and you can choose morning all the way up to evening and night. If you're not sure which time that you want you can always change it in your map settings properties. So uh, I'm just going to choose some somewhere in the morning. So now it's going to build and load the la level for me.